Greetings fellow Decepticons, Soundblaster1987 here, returning to the Transformers franchise yet again for Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Earthrise Deluxe Class Decepticon Fast Track. For those who don't know, Fast Track is the little grey perimeter drone thing that came with the City Former Scorpion arc in the original Transformers toy line in 87. As you can see here, he's a little double barrel six wheel scout tank thing of some description. For size comparison, here he is with Takara Legends Titans Return to Lux Class Blur. As you can see, Blur is much longer in his vehicle mode, whereas uh, Fast Track's mass is compacted in different ways to make him taller and wider instead. Being part of a modulator's gimmick of Earthrise, Fast Track is a parts former, which means that you have to pull bits off him to transform him. So, to begin, remove the turret piece of like so. Then disconnect the wheels like so. Then remove this piece. Rotate the head 180 degrees so it's facing the right way. Before I move on, I should point out that there is also a, yeah, little connector piece here so that Fast Track's uh, vehicle mode can be clipped onto Scorpion Arc, Skylinks and the other Earthrise base and ramp compatible pieces like so. You'll have to wait for my Scorpion Arc review to see that in action because I don't currently have any of the figures that are compatible with that gimmick. Then to continue with transformation, unpeg the robot mode feet from these pieces here on the wheel assemblies. Extend the legs forward like so. Flip the feet forward and rotate these pieces 180 degrees so they're the right way around. Attach to the torso like so. Then connect this piece onto the back using this post and this port down here. Next, you want to rotate these guns 180 degrees, remove them, and attach them onto the shoulders like so. These will become the arms, so peg these in like so. There are two ports on the shoulders, one for vehicle and one for robot mode. So attach the yeah, arms to the lower port for robot mode configuration to give them slightly taller shoulders. And here we have Earthrise Fast Track in robot mode. Stored on the back of one of the arms is his uh, little weapon thing here which can plug into his hand as a sort of dagger weapon. Like so. Which is about as effective as the, yeah, for safety reasons, scale of the vast majority of Kamen Rider roleplay sword weapons. I'll uh, leave a link in the description to other reviews for more evidence of that. So, without further ado, articulation. Fast Track's head is on a 360 degree swivel for transformation purposes. There is also a port at the back of his head for weapon accessories and such like. I put a downward shoulder movement plus the friction peg enables 360 degree rotation. Bicep swivel on the mushroom peg joint. 90 degree elbow bend. 360 degree wrist swivel. 360 degree waist swivel. Universal hips. Thigh swivel. Super deep knee bend for transformation, an ankle tilt, and the toes can hinge up and down for transformation purposes. For size comparison, here he is with Kingdom Voyager Class Cyclonus. Now, being a modulator, Fast Track is able to break apart into different fragments and create weapons for the other War for Cybertron trilogy characters to wield. 
So, for example, if I were to pull off Fast Track's arm and turn it back into its vehicle mode gun turret configuration, then that could plug on to Cyclonus's shoulders to give him back Skywarp's null rays. And yes, I am one of the people that suggests that Cyclonus came from Skywarp, not the Insecticon bombshell. I'll leave a link in the description to my Cyclonus review for more on that. I'll also be doing a vlog about the subject another day. In addition to that, you can also take Fast Track's legs off, transform them back into their vehicle mode configuration, and use them the same way that the, yeah, build diode legs were for the cho cho to diode combination for my Tokyo reviews. Again, link in the description. So you can stick these onto where Cyclonus' feet to give him six wheeled roller skates. This is just one of my personal combinations that I've come up with, but the whole point of the modulator system is that you're supposed to be able to create as many as your heart desires out of these uh, designs. Because as long as there's enough uh, posts and ports, the combination potential is endless. For example, you can split this back piece open into a shield. and then stick the, yeah, dagger thing onto it, and then Cyclonus can hold it as a handheld thing. Oops. Ah. Not having much luck today, am I? Oh well, I've demonstrated the gimmick, so that more or less concludes the review. I should, however, point out that Fast Track's disassembled parts are also compatible with the Studio Series 86 cup mold because of his gimmick being able to make him disassemble like when he was first on the planet Quintessa with Hot Rod. So, that concludes my review. I have been Sam Blaster 1987 Join me next time when I'll be returning to the Unicron Trilogy with my review of Transformers Energon Deluxe Class Hot Shot. Till then, till all are one.